Welcome back to Deep South Cooking. Tonight I'm going to be making some Tabasco dogs. Alright everybody, let's get the show started. First thing we're going to do is start off with the hamburger meat. We've got everything lined up and ready to go outside. It's one pound of ground beef. Throw it on the griddle. Get rid of the trash. Now, I'm not going to put any seasoning on this meat at all. And I'm going to show you why in a little bit. So right now we're just going to cut it down, cut it up. We're making chili out of it, folks. So you want to make sure it's ground all the way down. Let that cook a little bit. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my onion. Got that little first ring off of it. We don't need very much. There we are. Now, I'm gonna use this a little later on. I'm just getting it ready right now. Again, this is gonna be one of my meals that I can show you that you can make in about 10 to 15 minutes. And restaurants ain't got nothing on this. Kind of small. Now, that was step one. Step two was onion. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start getting the dogs lined up. I'm using Hebrew National Beef Franks. Whatever your favorite is, folks, you can use whatever you like. That just happens to be one of my favorite ones. There we go. Now, you know, hot dogs don't take long, but they taste a lot better on the griddle than they do in a pot cooking. Okay, we're gonna go to the hot dogs. Look, we're just gonna try to roll them a little bit. You ain't got to roll for You're just trying to get a different side of the dog. So actually, what we're going to do is slide them on a little bit. There we are. Now. Now, I'm going to put the handle to the side a little bit because I don't want my handle to get as hot as the actual pot itself. Now, I promise you, Tabasco dogs, and I'm using Tabasco chili. This is delicious stuff, folks. I'm using the original tonight. They have a hot and spicy one also, if you want to add a little bit more flavor to it. There we go. This stuff goes great with a little bit of the ground beef mixed into it. There we go. All right, let's check on this other stuff again. Now, put the lid on, let that ride for a little bit. with a hamburger meat. Just, it's so close. So close. Now on this one I used, I think it was what, 90% fat. I didn't want a whole bunch of grease on my griddle. Look at it, it's coming out perfect. You don't have to worry about straining nothing. Cook them, roll them dogs again. You see how they roll real easy with this? Very, very simple. Now, the next thing you want to do Let's get some of these onions cooked. I'm going to saute them in a little bit of olive oil. Put them right here at the back end of the griddle. There we go. My phone made it real easy for me when they had that little place to put the trash. Now you can see the onions are going to start cooking really, really well. And I'll bet you they're going to cook really fast. Keep rolling them dogs. You want the whole thing to cook. Now the chili. It's going to take a couple minutes for it to boil. 
But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you, once you uh, add some of this hot heat to the chili, it's gonna make the cookie even quicker. That is perfect. It's all put down real small. Time to drop it into the pot. Drop it like it's hot. There you go. You can make your own homemade chili. They got store bought chilies. But they don't have Tabasco chili. If you have access to it in your grocery store, I promise you, you won't regret it. Look at that. You can see the inside of it. It's bubbling. It didn't take long. That hot surface. It's cooking that right down perfect. Put that down. Now, yeah. I need one more little ingredient. You can use uh, tomato sauce, tomato juice. I like it with a little beer. So, I'm going to use about a half a beer. There we go. I should say about three quarter of a beer because actually I want to drink the rest. There we go. You're gonna mix all that in together and just let it cook. And that stove is hot, so it won't take long to bring that to a boil. This is gonna be one good chili dog. Now, let's roll them dogs a little bit more. You can start seeing where they're starting to show some color to them. You don't have to cook them down much, but I'm gonna tell you that. The more flavor you, the more you cook them down, the better the flavor they are. Now my onions, they're getting sauteed really well. I'll show you where to put those in a little while. Right now, I think I'm gonna, yeah, we'll leave them right here. Maximizing the Now, turn that out back on. Because what I want to do from here forward is get these buns cooked. Now, I'm using broche buns. These are already cut right down the center. Okay? They made a supper for you. Now, I don't want to tear them up, so I'm taking my time ripping them apart. Because I actually want to make three hot dogs. Not one giant one. There we go. Now, I'm putting them on here, but actually, what I'm going to be doing first is I want to just heat them up. So, handy dandy, cover. We'll let them sit in there for about a, about a minute or two. Actually, it won't be that long. You can start seeing the, how good the chili looks. Look at that. Really good consistency. All out of a jar, add a little hamburger. You really cannot go wrong with this stuff. Give the dolls a little roll again. Flip yeah. flop the onions. They're just about to the right color. Now, got my little special ingredients on the side. We're going to put together in just a couple minutes for you. We're going to take the bun cover off and we're going to split open these buns just a little bit. We kind of put them at an angle where you can probably get a better view of them. Okay. All right. All right. Chili's getting a little bit closer. I'm going to put me a little bit of butter on the inside of my bun. There we go. Now, I want to brown them and heat them up just a little bit further. There we go. Now this part ain't going to take too long. I don't want to overcook them. I just want to brown them just a little bit. Meanwhile, let's get this chili stirred. Ooh, it's getting hot. And it's getting perfect. Light little roll. All right, now we got that heated up. Now 
There we go. I just wanted to have a little bit of heat on that inside. Lay me a little bit of cheese bed right there at the bottom. Okay. Now we're ready to put the starter show right down the middle. Now with the bun being a little bit of heated up, the hot dog heated up, that's gonna be a match in heaven right there. Okay. So we're gonna let that go. I think we're about ready to top it off with some of this goodness. Let's see if we use matching. There we go. Stir that on up. Now, I know you're thinking the cheese is on the bottom. How am I going to dress at the top? But I'm going to show you that in just a moment. Now, long day of work, I'm hungry. I don't know if I'm gonna split this with my wife or eat it all myself. Good thing I got some leftovers on the side. There we go. Now, now we're gonna take some of these onions. We're just gonna drizzle these on top. I love onions. Sauteed onions are the best. Okay, done with that. Now the final part. We're gonna dress it up with some cheese. Make it pretty. Oh my God. It's, this is Colby Jack right here. Got a really good flavor. Now on the inside of the dog, I used American cheese. In case you wanna know what the difference is. Some people like more cheese than others. You put what you want on it. You can see where it's melting on perfectly. Now, I got one little more trick that I'm gonna do here again. Once I get my cheese is perfect. Okay. I'm gonna put the cover on it, I'm gonna hide it from you, and we're gonna Showcase it in just a couple minutes inside. Thank you for watching another episode of Deep South Cooking. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you make the food. I hope you enjoy the food. And if you like it, uh, like the page, please, and subscribe to my page.